Hey guys and welcome back to Sinkus TV. I'm here on the PTS for update 12 which is also known as One Tamriel and as you know they have introduced 16 new monster sets so I'm here to review them for anyone who can't get on the PTS um see them for themselves. So the first one we have is Trickthorn and it adds magic power recovery and then whenever you use the heal ability you can have a 15% chance to summon a strangler sapling that heals you or an ally for max health every 4 seconds. This can occur every 10 seconds. Grothar. One item adds max magicka and whenever you deal damage you have a 10% chance to create a lava pool that swirls around you dealing flame damage to all enemies within 8 meters of you every 1 second for 5 seconds. This can occur every 10 seconds. And for some reason Ice Heart and Chokethorn are the same. Um, they didn't put Ice Heart in the game. This is Chokethorn in Ice Heart container, so I don't know what's going on with that, so I can't really go for that one. I'm sorry. But Infernal Guardian adds Max Magicka, and whenever you use a damage shield ability, you have 50% chance to lob three mortars over at two seconds at the furthest enemy from you that deal flame damage to all enemies within five meters of the blast area. This can occur every six seconds. Okay, Crag. Faldrons and guys that adds one item is physical penetration and then two items whenever you deal damage you have a 10% chance to spawn drag limbs that create shock waves in front of you dealing physical damage every 0.4 seconds for 1.2 seconds this can occur every three seconds Elambrus and it adds max magicka and two items whenever you uh, deal flame damage or shock damage you have a 10% chance to summon a meteor shower of that damage type that deals 12,554 damage to all enemies within 4 meters every 1 second for 5 seconds this can occur every 8 seconds okay pirate skeleton adds physical resistance and spell resistance and whenever you take damage you have a 6% chance to transform into a skeleton and gain major protection and minor defile for 12 seconds, reducing your damage taken by 30, but reducing your healing received by 15%. This can occur every 15 seconds. Selene adds max scam, and whenever you deal direct melee damage, you have a 15% chance to call on a primal spirit that melts the closest enemy in front of you for physical damage. This can occur every 4 seconds. Sela Strix as max stam whenever you deal damage you have a 10% chance to create an earthquake under the enemy that erupts after two seconds dealing physical damage to all enemies within four meters and stunning them for three seconds this can occur once every five seconds someone's trying to dull me right now <laughs> okay sentinel of rue gams <laughs> adds a uh, 2% healing done and whenever you heal a friendly target you have a 10% chance to summon a dwemer spirit that heals for Max health and restores stamina to you and your allies within 5 meters every 1 second for 8 seconds. This can occur every 15 seconds. Shadow Ren adds magic recovery and whenever you deal damage you have a 5% chance to summon a shadow a clan fear for 15 seconds. The clan fear's basic attack deals physical damage and applies ma minor maim to any enemy hit for 3 seconds reducing their damage done by 15%. It can occur every 15 seconds. Slime Craw adds health recovery and gain Gains minor berserk at all times, increasing damage done by 8%. Stormfist adds magic or stamina recovery, and whenever you deal damage, you have a 10% chance to create a thunder fist to push the enemy, dealing shock damage every one second for three seconds to all enemies within four meters. And the final physical damage whenever the fist closes, this effect can occur every eight seconds. And Swarm Mother, you have magic or stamina recovery, I don't know why I keep saying magic, I'm sorry, but whenever you block an attack from an enemy that is further than 5 meters from you, you spend strands of spider silk to pull the enemy to you. This effect can occur every 2 seconds. Hammer scale adds max stam, and whenever you taunt an enemy, you have 50% chance to cause a dune ripper to burst from the ground beneath you, dealing physical damage to all enemies within 4 meters and reducing their movement speed by 70% for 8 seconds. This can occur every 4 seconds. And our last one is Troll King. Troll King adds 2% healing done, and whenever you heal an ally um, that are below 60% health, their health recovery is increased um, for 10 seconds. Okay. And I'm pretty sure that was all 16 of them. Like I said, I can't go over Ice Heart because choke thorns in the same container and whenever I click on choke thorn there's not ice hard in there so I'm sorry about that but yeah that's the 15 that I went over and thank you guys for watching I'll see you next time bye